right, here we are at Lowy Fab. <laughs> this uh, beautiful uh, race car. It's a VN Group A that's in the build, a replica one with a big blown LS and and whatnot, and should, should do some pretty cool stuff on the scene, but we won't go into that too much because we're going to talk with Damien. Yeah, have a chat with him about exactly. this car, this build. Exactly, exactly right. So today we're going to obviously talk with Damien. We're going to have a bit of a chat with Aaron as well. Aaron won Street Machine of the Year with his uh, very cool truck. Yeah, absolutely. He's a cool guy, right? He's a great guy, and he's working on, working on a few uh, few projects. Probably not for this year's Summer Nats, but he's definitely, he'll always have something in the build yeah, he, for Summer he, Nats. He's, even if it's Summer Nats, someone, he's influenced somebody that goes yeah. to Summer Nats, right? And, and, the scene, and the scene in general because of his definitely great work. So last week you had a chat about some of the things I've been doing uh, in lockdown, my EH, I believe it might be a little uh, a little project <laughs> of yours here. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, it's behind Mount Everest <laughs> in a big behind a big <laughs> cloud of, uh, of foam. Apparently, uh, that's there. Which we'll have a look. We'll go and try and find it. So, would that be the car we were talking about way back? It is. It is. So you told me that was going to be finished by now. It was meant to go to Summer Nats, but it's not going. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For whatever reason, it's uh, just you know uh, it's been a bit of a battle and trying to get it finished in time and hopefully we can get it done hopefully for the middle of next year yeah, uh, i've been doing a build series on my youtube channel just the jay benz it's called it been on there it's been pretty cool pulling it apart i think there's about it's up to about just about to go to the panel beaters now so obviously the car's painted at the moment yeah but the series is just sort of just kicking along and it'll come up to date in about uh, about a month or so Great. about a month and a half but it's going to go to the beaters where it gets sandblasted it was mate i'll tell you what if you've ever stripped a vl dash you must hate life because it was horrible <laughs> Absolutely horrible. I don't know if it's hard in other other, other cars. It is. Really, it is. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I think it's easier coming out than it is going back. Yeah, into, that's, so. that's like everything. But yeah, we'll have a we'll have a little look at that. We'll have a poke around. It's um, that's it's good. painted and it looks amazing. Honestly, it's it's uh the the, the guys that done it. It's 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 looking smick. Yeah, fantastic. That's so, all yeah. Good. All right. Well, let's check it out. Let's go have a look. So what's this? What's this, Jay Benz? Is this part of the body kit or something? This is the lower lip. So that'll be, <laughs> that'll sit down the bottom. That'll, uh, it'll help uh, airflow for when I'm on the circuit. I don't think so. That's the, the boot spoiler up there. <laughs> That's that there. And this is all, this is all um, to put cold beers in for the boot. Yeah, that'll be plenty of cold beers. <laughs> and am I going to fit down here or what? No, you'll never get in there. Oh, we'll try. Oh, hello, car. Oh. So are these the wheels off at J Benz? Yeah, th these are the wheels. That's the front wheels. <laughs> That's the front wheels. Make sure we have no understeer whatsoever, you know. Okay, enough stupidity. Show us what's this, going on here. This is the um, my version of Brock's uh, polarizer. <laughs> Get out of here. So obviously you're not working on it at the moment. Well, this is the first time I've been allowed in Sydney uh, in the last four months. So now it's time to go. So we're going to do car builders through the whole car in the next few weeks. Clean it up, tidy it up, and obviously get this filthy dust off the car. Mate, it's a what I can see, and it's an yeah. awesome looking paint job. Yeah, yeah. Start you happy with that? Absolutely, yep. It's painted in concept paint. The paint's uh, been amazing. It's laid down so good. Who painted it? Cruise Restorations. Steve from Cruise Restorations and uh, Friends Restorations uh, did all the body. It went on a road history for months. So, yeah, it's I can't thank everybody that's been involved enough. Really looks good. It's one of those things where once we get it out of here, hopefully I can get all the bits ready and we can get it back together. Everybody, you know, knows that it builds a, a bit of a mission, you know. Absolutely. But just a little bit of whatever we can see. The engine bay has been kept pretty standard. There's no, um, you know, welded up stuff that's not. But we've decided to keep it all factory, all factory spot welds and whatnot, and give it a bit of a bit of a factory feel. And yeah, I can't wait to get it out and show everybody, you know, yeah, what it's going to look like. It should be good. Mainly awesome. to mainly to enjoy it, you know. Like I'm going to put the family and go in this, but I'll go to events and do stuff as well and a few shows. Mate, and obviously we're at uh, the Commodore Kings, which we're going to have a chat with Chubb and here at Lowy Chubb. Sure, yeah, I'm sure he'll make a make, make a bit of stuff for you. Yeah, and, yeah. Damien's definitely going to put his touch on this car, you know. Like there's Beautiful. nobody. I, I'd, I'd 
trust more or, or want more to put you know their touch on on this car. So awesome, unbelievable. If we can get to it, so <laughs> this is the skip, this is the seal panels. <laughs> I don't want to break that. It's probably five grand for that piece of phone. Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. <laughs>So obviously Damien sells a lot of Commodore stuff. I've got a few Commodores, so I'm going to go and pack myself some parts and send them to myself. Let's go. We'll just go in here for a second. Hi, how are you going? Acoustic liner, I need one of them. Some tough mounts, a couple of brackets. <laughs> very nice, thank you very much. Some K&N filters, put that in the box. Where's the packing tape? I've got to send this stuff to myself. 5% discount. He said I've got to pay double. That's what you get. So say my name there, mate. No, mate. What are you sending me? Are you chubby? Well, I'm not no more. You, I think you are. I think I am. <laughs> So, Damien, what's these blue pills, mate? <laughs> I don't know, like <laughs> And why is, why, why, why is the measuring tape next to the... Uh... Summonats is all about loyalty, right? Yes. Before you first go, you never stop going. Someone who's I've, never... I've only been to 33. 33, and how many have you been to, Damien? All of them. <laughs> so, so, two of us here have been to 33. I've been to about 12. Yeah, wow. And it is all, all about three, loyalty. Three, <laughs> Just on that note... Um, yeah, wow, 33 years. That's not many events go that long, so it's pretty amazing. And boy, are we looking forward to the next one. 34. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. So uh, obviously we're here at, uh, at Lowy Fab. <laughs> Damien, how are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Long Very time no see. Long time no see. That's, that's exactly right. <laughs> For I, everybody. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. You've got a, um, not to jump straight ahead of, of, but this is in the build, mate. This is... Oh, and all of the car. Pretty, it may uh, be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't improve on the fact. It's a killer looking car, Chubb. So what, uh, what's the story with this? Full build here. Um, like just the engine bay, like yeah. Commodore engine bays are, are pretty ordinary to start with. Mm. So you fab what? Firewall? The firewall, inner guard, tubs. radiator support, everything, yeah. um, double wishbone front end. Yeah, it's an, it's a, I can remember the car on the hoist about a year or mm. two years ago. Two. Not even two years. Yeah, under yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah, when all the front was obviously yeah. being taken out to do the front tubs, it's come yeah. a long way, mate. This car's going to do some, uh, some some damage on the show scene for sure, right? It's really interesting with the whole Commodore thing. Is just uh, just absolutely peaking at the moment, isn't it? With the, uh, Billy Shelton winning at at um, yeah. Red Centre Nats and getting so much coverage at Street yeah. Machine yeah. magazine and. Yeah, so they've really come into their own now, haven't they? Exactly yeah. right. Which would be good for you guys, yeah, you yeah. Commodore guys. Yeah, yeah loving it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. just on that, I mean, you, I mean, you, your business is—is is it based around Commodore stuff? Uh, probably ninety percent of my products and that I sell are Commodores. Yeah. Yeah, right. What sort of stuff? What sort of products? Give yourself a plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I do the the main thing at, at the moment is the wheel dollies and stuff. Um, they're, they're booming there out the door. I think everyone lockdown projects in yeah. their Commodores. Yeah. Um, and then from there, just the usual like dress up stuff with the engine bays, billet caps and buttons and catch cans. Yeah. Yep. And fuel been, tanks. Been good through yeah, COVID. Hasn't stopped. Like bit busier than ever. Yeah. yeah. I mean, most people in retail or mm. people making components mm. yeah. out of control, busy. I've, um, I've got brake kits and suspension parts ready to go. Just COVID, just couldn't keep up with the current orders, so no yeah. time to release new products. The Commodore scene in general, can, even just the prices of Commodores, the yeah. parts for Commodores, you know, I mean, um, it's, I mean, they've always been what, you know, a big player in the in the, scene, in the, in the car scene, but now it's just like, they're like they've become like a, a tier up almost. Uh, yeah, so, well, you look at a company like... The way Rick, people are building them, I mean, to say. Mm. Yeah, so, well, well, both, but also the yeah. people then supplying components. So I was talking to rares uh, yeah. like rare spares and they've just they're gearing up they yeah. see that as their future yeah. the whole mm -hmm. commodore thing and i i know you're building a car at the moment and i was just looking at the body on that and it's fairly rusty and a fair bit of work on it but you said a good body it's going to be 20 grand yeah 20 grand yeah yeah if just for the more, body it's not more yeah yeah wow. so it's worth repairing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the, i guess that the the say like the 80s model commodore stuff the early girl stuff i guess that's like um uh, because they are worth so much money, they're worth putting money into to, yeah. to restore. Mm. You know, I guess. Yeah. But so, but yeah, plenty on the scene. Billy Shelton's, um, you know, he's making numbers, and this thing's, I don't doubt it will do yeah. exactly the same <laughs> sort of level. And like, yeah. And I'm yeah. guessing that you'll come back with your stand this year. Yeah, I'll be there for my trade stand. Awesome. Yeah. I actually just want to touch on that for a second. Having a 
trade stand there, nobody would know that the punter's better than someone who's stood there for you know ten or fifteen years now as an exhibitor. You know, um, on, as a, with the trade stand, what's it? What's it mean to you to touch base with customers and stuff out there? It's a you can look forward to that, right? Every yeah, year. it's good to talk to customers, get the feedback on products, yeah. even what well, product ideas, new pro- uh, yeah, yeah, and stuff. Um, and development on products, it's always good to listen to them if they yeah. have a little problem. Or not all Commodores are the same, yeah. And all that, so you got to make sure your products do have tolerances in them and, and all that. So and that uh, feedback yeah. face to face, yeah, with for, the yeah face to face, yeah. Well, it's priceless, yeah. Price, yeah. Then you've got the products there, they can explain it to you, it's easier than over the phone when they ring up, yeah. yeah. I know one thing whenever I swing by your stand at some match, which usually once over the event, <laughs> man, there's always heaps of people. Yeah. There's like two or three deep all the yeah. time, so it is good to get that feedback, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah. got a pocket full of fishermen friends. He talks the whole way down to everybody. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing that summer. Yeah. Can't, can't wait. Catch and up thank with you everyone. It's for been your a support. Long time. Yeah, 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 it's going to be great. Mm. Summer that's 34, no doubt. There's... How many cars were we? Two and a half thousand or more. Two and a half thousand. Um, well, how are we going to I think all everybody's going to be busy. <laughs> the most entrance ever, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. 33 years. Yeah. And we've got the most unveiled cars ever, yeah. and we're working out the, the plan for all of that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it should be great. Big, big. big. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you there, mate. Yeah. Look forward to seeing this there. Yep. All right, that's Thanks. it. Cheers. <laughs> is, is there a car at low fab that's not tubbed? Holy smokes. How mad are skids? thought we'd bring the magic moments back. So being at Chubbs, Commodore King and Brocky, being the king of Australian motorsport, let's have a look at the Momo Ute, the beast, with Brocky driving it. We don't usually pay much attention to V8 Commodore Utes, but Canberra's Summer Nats 12 was the final public burnout of the Roman Autotech beast, and we were curious what all the fuss was about. Also on hand for the occasion, a novice driver with no previous burnout experience, Peter Brock. What's this one? Electing to observe first as a passenger, he seemed to learn quickly. Then changed seats at the crowd's suggestion while they waited patiently for $6,000 worth of 20-inch tyres to go up in smoke. Okay. So we just hung on. As expected, a 700 horsepower, alcohol-burning, supercharged, 8.2-litre Chevy V8 had no problem making a bit of smoke. Brock gave the impression he'd driven high-powered Commodores before. Making guest appearance, showing that he can do good things for you. 
Even the track announcer was getting into it. Rocky is really one of us. I guess that means we're all retired motor racing champions. Peter Brock, the most famous Australian motor racing icon of all time. On your Brocky. So obviously at Summer Nights we see a lot of crazy cars, a lot of elite cars, a lot of custom stuff, a lot of, uh, you know, things of all flavours. We're here at Aaron's workshop, Webs. Yeah, fantastic look at Aaron's absolutely at the top of his game. And, uh, so let's have a bit of a chat to him. He's obviously got the street machine in here. Get in here, mate. We'll have a chat. <laughs> What's going on, mate? Not much. <laughs> oh, not much. <laughs> There's, not much. There's always something going on. Always something going on. Place. It's just weird being around people, being locked here for three months. And obviously, I work by myself anyway, so I've always got the door locked. Yeah. And it's weird being around weird people. Being around weird, <laughs> around weird <laughs> people. especially tall. Speak for yourself. Speak, speak for yourself. <laughs> so, mate, looks. Like I'm, I'm guessing you would come to some of that. What yeah. Are, what are you bringing? I'll bring my truck down and I'm hoping to squeeze Johnny's arm with a little Mark 1 Escort. Oh, yeah. um, both of us aren't really car show guys as such and we've both laughed about the fact that it's been good not feeling pressured to go to car shows for the last two years. I guess having cars like we have, it's like, you take it to that show, you take it to that show and it's been good to have that sort of string pull that you not feel pressured to go to a car show but it's been that long, it's like we need to go to a car show. Yeah, car things we car definitely, and, and some of that, man, it just looks like it's going to be really rocking. There's more entries. Rocky. Seen. <laughs> no, rocky. Not rocky, yeah, but yes. rocky. There's going to be more, there's more entries now that looks like than ever, and yeah, wow. The, entire top, to the entire top 60 hall is going to be unveiled cars, right, by now? Um, yeah, I'm going to go into that a little bit, a little yeah. bit later <laughs> in this day, but gotcha. there's, there's definitely a lot of, a lot of new cars, and I've actually talked a few of those guys into hanging off to a Motor X as well, otherwise yeah, it would have been, would have been. <laughs> top six. There's a, there's a bit of a bank up now, I'd imagine. For, for a guy that didn't go to any car shows in two years though, winning Street Machine of the Year award, mate. <laughs> it's been a year now, It's uh, you've had to hand the, uh, the, the B mug back. I had to, hand it, I had to, had to get nude for some <laughs> photos or whatever. <laughs> But anyway, we might yeah. flash that photo up. No. There we go, there we go. Yeah, right on. We just got the, the video <laughs> blacklisted from social media. Bad luck. Well, it, it was funny, you know, I've, apparently I went against community guidelines or whatever, but it's still wow. there, so... Obviously I it thought it was very tasteful, mate. Well, it wasn't yeah, a big man. enough package to worry, apparently. <laughs> it's mainly a, a sum of that show, but it's just, what have you been working on, I'm sure? You've got something interesting in the shop? We are... <sighs> I think all, all fabricators, there's more cars wanting to be built than there is fabricators at the moment. Yeah, um, definitely. I've got a good 18 months, at least two years worth of work ahead of me, like over, over 10 cars booked in. But during this lockdown period, I've actually spent the time just doing a big block of work on one car at the moment, clean the shop out and just worked on the 53 Chevy, which I've got here now. Won't be ready for some mats this year. Um, the owner really just wants to drive the hell out of it. Um, so not being built as a show car, but that's kind of the niche market I've put myself in now is building, I know people say show, You've done this show yourself, I've done this to myself. <laughs> so people will call it show quality, but I think yeah. I would just call it quality. Like it's just a, a well-built car, yeah. you know, stone guard undercarriage or whatever. You can drive it, not worry about filling it full of stone chips, but on the outside, it will still look good enough. You know, you can clean it up in 12 months time, it's still good and, enough and to and go to a quick, show. quick plug there for you, Aaron, on your, on your social media, on your Instagram especially, yeah. you do a really great job of detailing, like, as you do step by step, you, like, you... you... Yeah, I, I, I think people like to see it. Um, yeah. so when a car gets to a show, it's covered in bog, covered in paint, covered yeah. in leather. You don't really see yeah. what goes into it. Um, and the people who have started following me on Instagram really like seeing the step-by-step -step process. Yeah, oh, I love checking it out for sure, 100%. Yeah, cheers. Oh, I'm not the world's best welder, not the world's best metal shaper. What, everything I do is quite simple in process, but I guess it looks pretty good at the end. Um, really good at being humble too, mate. Right. <laughs> uh, you do some really, really nice work. And... We're, we're in the car scene. In, in terms of the grand scheme of things, what are we? We are bottom dwellers. Anyway. No, no, no. <laughs> So yeah. can we um, have a quick look at this Chev? Sure, we'll have a quick look and I'll show you what I've been up to. Let's have a look.
so we're going to have a couple of entrants of the week. This, this week I thought I'd do a couple of the unveil cars. So really looking forward to seeing Kylie Garrett's 68 Ford Mustang. She had, uh, I've only obviously got in to build photos and uh, we might show just a quick sneak peek of that but uh, it's going to be an awesome car. And for the second entrant, really interesting car and person we've got a, a guy that's been coming to Red Centre for quite a few years. Got a panel shop up there in Darwin and he's making the trek all the way down from Darwin with this brand new <laughs> XP Falcon. So oh, good. can't wait to see that thing finished. Yeah, nice colour. Oh, so, no. so it's Paul Tinnings. I don't know X the colour. <laughs> Paul Tinning, XP Falcon. Nice. Hey, that was pretty cool, but catching up with, with yeah, Chubbs again. And, 100%. And Aaron, of course. Yep. Good Good to see some plenty of stuff in the build. Have you seen there's some stuff here going to summon? That's exciting stuff. The, the vibe is cranking, right? Yeah. Look, and I'm sure we're going to say it again before, because uh, we've got a few more shows before summer nights, but mm. man, I'm looking forward to that event. Mate, I'm counting down the days. Bring Minutes, it on. Seconds. Let's go. See you later.